This is Similand. It is a very strange game. It's kind of like... I can't explain it. Let's just jump in. Okay, so you are god of this world. Uh, your job is to create humanity, experiment with them, try to create a flourishing civilization, and probably crumple it up and throw it away before you're done. So you've got cards that are dealt out to you from a deck, and uh, the first card you play is Mankind. You decide where they're going to settle, which is right here. So now you get kind of an Adam and Eve, uh, and they want things. One of them wants wind, the other one wants sun. Well, let's put some sun down. Oh, right, right, that kills all the grass and makes desert. Okay, well, you know, gotta be careful. The other one wanted wind? Sure, let's give you some wind. So this increases their faith. And when they have faith, that powers me to uh, do more things. So for instance, if I wanted to put some rain down, kind of fight back against that desert a little bit, I can. Uh, but what they really need is things like plants. So when you pick up a card and you play it, where you play it makes a big difference. Like they got some like wheat or reeds or something out of uh, the plant that I place in the grasslands. If I put a plant in the swamp, this is a different plant. It's a, oh, it's a toxic berry bush. Well, that's not good for them. Um, let's uh, learn something about that. Okay, so I just used uh, an, in, what was that called? Inspect? Yeah, inspect. So I taught them something about that item, uh, which means now they're aware of toxic berries and they're not going to eat them unless they have a cure. Oh, they're worshipping me again. So they want, one of them wants a quake, the other one wants more wind. Unfortunately, I don't have either of those options, so I just need to play stuff like plants and trees until... Okay, now I've drawn a wind. So one of them wants wind. Let's grab some more wind. And so if I keep doing what they ask, then I'll get more faith. But what they ask for is sometimes not actually what's best for them, like humans are. So what I really want to do is give them enough stuff that they can keep surviving. Like I've given them a chicken here. And if I inspect the chicken, come here, chicken. Now they've learned about, uh, was it animal? Oh, domestication of animals. That's right. So now they can build a little cage and get eggs from the chicken consistently, which is good because they run out of food pretty easily. Uh, if I stick a tree, so somebody wanted a willow tree. I'm not sure where willow trees grow. So this is a just normal tree, I guess. I don't know. If I inspect it, they learn about axes, and they can cut trees down. Uh, you know, I've never put a critter in the water before. Ooh. It's a school of fish. Oh, wait, somebody starved to death. Oh, crap. I need to get them more plants they can eat. Um, oh, actually, you know, the best way to do that is... Oh, do I, am I all out of trees? Well, that's unfortunate. So one thing I've been trying to figure out is how how to get jungle. There's some way to get jungle, and I'm not sure how to do it. So a lot of this game is sort of going through and figuring out what combinations of actions will give you things that you want. Like, let's see here. So if you just get regular rocks if you place minerals uh, here, but if you place them in the swamp, you get clay. And then, let's see, I don't have any sample cards. Sample cards are really useful. What are people asking for? Dale wishes for a bear? What is wrong with you? Somebody wants an ice block. Do I have minerals? I've got minerals. Oh, oh, I don't have any tundra anymore. Well, dang it. I think if you keep raining in the same place again and again, you eventually get tundra. Okay, then I put minerals in, in the snow. Then it becomes an ice block, so that person's happy. Somebody else wants sun? Okay, well, let's put the sun over here where it won't kill too much grassland. So they're collecting all these toxic berries, but they can't eat them. That's going to be a problem. Uh, let's give them a critter they can eat, like a chicken. Have they learned how to fish yet? Ah, I needed to inspect the fish, so now they can fish. So that'll be helpful. You guys really want sun, huh? 
Now let's make some of this tundra go away. People can freeze to death. Ooh, one thing I have not done with them yet is I have not taught them how to make clothing because I haven't figured out how yet. Where are all my trees, man? Okay, let's just throw some more humans out there just to clear these cards. All right, put some rain in the desert. Oh, they're collecting water. I think if I inspect water, they can learn how to make cook pots. Oh, no. No, I can't? Hmm. Okay, sample. The sample button shows them what they can get out of something. Like that. It pops a bunch of rocks out. If I inspect it, they'll learn to make a knife out of that flint. And so sometimes there's some very timing-sensitive things. Like, I had to produce a flint, but before they gathered it, I had to play an inspect button on it to teach them that that's how they make a knife. So now they can make a knife. They can do things like fight bears. Which is good because they keep asking for bears, and all the bears are going to do is kill them right now. I'm still really disappointed by my lack of trees. Alright. So, somebody wants wind? Fine, let's blow these toxic berries back on shore. Oh, hey, they got poop. They got poop. Inspe oh, oh, I tried to inspect the poop, but I was too slow. Oh, they got pickaxes now, so they can mine things. That's good. Tree, finally. Okay, so you place multiple trees, and then it gives you a forest biome. And then the forest biome is where you can get plants, like that one, uh, which where, where they can gather berries. But actually, my next... Let's see here. Okay, somebody wanted a plant. Did I already give them a plant after they asked for it? Oh, oh, crap, I wanted to inspect that poop. Ah, oh, I didn't get it. <laughs> so, Not Jim Artist wants to know what game this is. This game is called Similand. It is weird. <laughs> kind of reminds me a little bit of Reus, uh, which I've played before. And uh, maybe I'll put a little card up there um, when I put this on YouTube. But, uh, yeah, it's... Basically, you're sort of you've got this random assortment of cards, and you're trying to use these cards to give these people things that they need um, to build a bustling civilization. But you have to learn all of the combinations of cards yourself. Oh, look, a bear. Well, you guys asked for a bear, you get a bear. If somebody can successfully kill the bear, uh, they can get a bunch of meat out of him. But he's probably gonna eat a couple of humans first. Yep, yeah, there we go. Rene got killed by a bear. Oh, Rene wanted a mir uh, mineral, but it's too late. Uh, Carrie wants a berry bush, but I think I'm all out of plants. I guess we'll just throw around some minerals to just clear out some space here. I still have not figured out how to make jungle. Because I'm, I'm trying to make it rain a bunch. That doesn't seem to do anything. I can throw... Maybe, I don't know, will a quake help? Let's do an earthquake to make mountainous terrain. And then rain on the mountainous terrain? What happens there? Just more swamp. Dang it. Can't figure out how this works. <laughs> this bear is going around killing everybody. Well, I've got a I've got a kill button here. Let's uh let's murder the bear. Okay, the bear's, bear's dead now, so the surviving humans can butcher it and live off the food. If I do another quake on the mountains, it turns into a volcano. Oh, hey, that was their first fire on the world, so now they've learned about fire. Well, that's really useful. That's why I couldn't make the cook pot thing happen, because they have to have fire first before they can learn about cook pots. Let's throw another couple humans down. Okay, what else? What else can I do? What can I teach them about? Is there anything left to... Ooh! I can research a boat. I don't know what that does for them. Because I don't have any trees for them to make stuff out of. Ooh, what have they built here? That's not what I tried to click on. What's this building? No? Oh, it's a farmhouse. Okay. And it's storing a bunch of stuff. There's so much going on, and it's just moving too fast, and it's too detailed. There's just way more than you can keep track of.
<laughs> oh, hey, Statpost just showed up to remind me that, of course, I've forgotten to update my uh, stream information with the game that I'm playing. I always do that. Let me just make that not a lie anymore. <laughs> All right. That's updated. Thank you, Statpost. Anyway, back to this game. Ooh, they built a church. That's pretty cool. All right, so. Oh. Oh, yeah, I think that's. Yeah, polar bear. That's what you get if you uh, put a bear on the snow. Well, let's just kill it right now because I know they're going to get murdered by it. So now suddenly all my sample and inspect cards are here. Vicky wants a discovery? Is there something I can discover? Ooh, ooh, is that some jungle? Is that some jungle? Do I, I don't have a tree. Why is it jungle? What? What's the jungle? I want to understand this. Hey, they're fishing. That's pretty cool. I've never seen a guy fish before. So yeah, so it's just like, the world is just like Petri dish and you're just poking at it and putting things in it and trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, so the word, so the sample thing, I think what it does is whatever action the humans can perform on a thing, you perform it for them to demonstrate it. So like, you can make ice pop out of that ice block, for instance. I don't know what they use ice for. Um, why is it always a bear? You're supposed to be able to get sheep in the forest, but I'm just getting bears. Okay, so I'm, s okay, oh, I've got a tree, I've got a tree. Let's make a jungle tree. <gasps> yes. I don't know what that was for. Let's find out. What can they get from a jungle tree? What was that? A banana? Okay. And the tree caught on fire because it's next to a volcano. Of course. Awesome. Um... All right. We really need to m absolutely murder this bear. Um... There, I struck it with lightning. Awesome. And also set everything on fire, but I'm sure that'll be fine. Um, let's make some rain happen. Oh, I killed all the trees, so the forest went away, and now it's all replaced by swamp. But I'm sure that'll be fine. Oh, now I've got a kill button. Awesome. Okay, let's put another jungle tree over here. How do I make the jungle bigger? Do I need to rain more? Oh yeah, so this tr it just keeps, it's just going to keep catching fire because it's next to the volcano. But I think it's made out of charcoal. And so because I researched charcoal, I got an oven. They learned about ovens. I don't know how they make ovens, though. Probably with minerals, right? Oh wait, probably not sandstone, though. Why did I make that there? They want that kind of mineral. That's a boulder, right? I can remove things. Like what? What can I... What do I want to remove? I think that is that an oven? Yes, that is my first oven. Awesome. I don't know how to make a self-sustaining forest. Oh, people are starving to death. Um, I don't know. I'm throwing rocks around because I can. Let's try to put a forest in there again. Uh, let's get another chicken. These guys are all dying. I probably should have made more fish too. Hey there, awesome Twitch dude. Thanks for joining me. Oh, and thanks, uh, Sangatsu, for joining, too. I didn't say anything before when you showed up. I'm just going to start clearing some space here. What happens if I rain on the volcano? Does it go away? It turns into desert, I guess? Interesting. Oh, and my jungle spread a little bit. Oh, I wish I understood what was causing it, because... Is it... Maybe it is raining next to mountains. Could that be it? I don't know. My, so most of my cards here are just kind of useless now. I'll give this some more uh, fish. There we go. Nothing I can inspect. Hmm. Wind isn't actually that useful. So all these tools are people, things that were manufactured by the humans that died previously. Oh, these guys are over here. 
I guess I can start making a forest up there, I guess. Um, I'm just trying to clear space here. So I'll use the sun to try to clear up that swamp. It turns into grassland, but it mostly doesn't. All right. Oh, here's another tree. Okay. So I wonder... It feels like they're just chopping all the trees down. These humans are very destructive. They're just blasting through their resources. Hmm. I can keep giving them trees, but... Oh, whoa! An apple tree? What? I've never seen that one in there before. What happens if you get a plant in the jungle? Besides it inevitably catching fire. Oh, it's a toxic berry bush, just like you get in the swamp. Okay, well, that's not very interesting. And then it catches on fire. Yeah, so, not very interesting. Um, I don't know. Pff, I'm just throwing stuff around now. I've got just all of these inspect and sample buttons. So, originally, I didn't have enough of those, and so I added a bunch to my hand, to my deck, and now I've got way too many, I think. It just it becomes the only thing I can do, and it's not worth very much to me. I'm just throwing stuff around now. Let's mental this tundra. Okay, yeah, okay, so I'm... Why? Why is the jungle appearing now? Sometimes I do that exact same thing and jungle does not appear. Why is it appearing this time? I don't get it. Now, do you always get toxic berry bushes here? There's, I think there's a different kind of bush you can get, like a medicinal... Is that the medicinal plant? herbs yes no don't cut it yet there we go so now they know about medicinal herbs and because of that I think they can eat all these poison berries they've been collecting okay and let's make sure they've got another chicken okay they're wishing for wind give them some wind though right now notice my faith is just up to infinity like, I've got so much faith now because, like, like, I think you just basically, once you hit a certain point, they're just like, whatever, costs don't matter anymore. Ooh, what kind of animal do you get in the jungle? A snake? What? Can I inspect a snake? I can't. I can't. Okay. Well, can I sample a snake? No, I can just sample toxic stuff. All right. Okay, so one thing I've been meaning to do is... Wait, what? Palm tree? No, I didn't want a palm tree. I wanted a cactus. Does the desert just get palm trees? How did I get it? Is it a plant? Oh, maybe it's plant in the desert that gets you... that gets you cactuses. Okay, so I know that there's a technology for getting clothes on these people. And I think you get it with a cactus and a sheep which I've been very unlucky about this time around. Okay, what happens if I throw more rain right here? Swamp takes over and kills the tropics for some reason. Okay. And then if I put sun here? Okay, I'm getting more tropic now. Okay, it feels like that's telling me something. But sometimes when I put sun on the swamp, I don't get tropic. Are there just mysterious stats going on here that are determining what pops up? I really don't know. Okay, so I get clay in the tropics. And I guess I'm just all out of plants here. Somebody wants wind. Do I have, I don't have any wind. Yeah, unfortunately, you can really get your hand just clogged with stuff you can't use. So I'm just going to try to sample as many... Ooh, 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 poop to inspect. Okay, now they can make farms, because I inspected some poop. Because that's that's how that works. Um, so maybe they'll start building some farms? I don't know if they can plant anything, though. Oh yeah, here they are. They're building farms right here. Also, hopefully they can actually become self-sustaining food-wise. Wait, mankind ran out of food. What? What about your toxic berries? And where was it that I found like a storehouse or something? 
There it is. They got a lot of toxic berries. And they got meat. They've got an oven. Oh, but did I, did I never give them a cook pot? Ah, I need to give them a cook pot. Okay, so let's drop some rain. Wait, not on the desert. Let's drop some rain right here and then quickly inspect a puddle. Okay, now they've got a cook pot, in theory. Oh, somebody froze to death in the tundra. Okay, that's a problem. Um, let's shine some sun. Which, of course, makes some wasteland, but at least uh, it gets rid of the dangerous tundra area because my people don't how to know how to make clothes. Uh, let's get rid of the thunder. I just keep running out of... Yeah, somebody wants a cactus. I would love to give you a cactus, guys, but I've run out of plants. Hmm. Awesome Twitch dude asks if I only play these games once. A lot of them, yeah. I mean, I play a different game basically every day. Uh, and so there's no way that they could all stick around. Uh, I play a lot of them enough to learn what they are so that I, you know, know, the, know about them for, for future reference. And I can, like, use them in, you know, conversations about game design, that sort of thing. Um, but... Now and then I'll find one that sticks around for long term. Like for instance, Noita is a game that I, I streamed it a couple of times, but then I actually, I, I just keep it around as a game that I frequently come back to. Ooh, meal prepping. What, oh, I got an achievement, that's cool. Somebody wants a uh, clay deposit. Boom, there's your clay deposit. Oh, finally a meteor, nice. <laughs> but we've got ore. I think there was another way to get ore. But I forgot what it is. Oh, I think it's... If you put minerals on a mountain. That's right. So I don't need to use a meteor to give them ore. Okay, so... Oh, plant. Plant. Okay, plant in the desert. Yes, that is a cactus. We're going to sample it. Which makes needles. Right, wait, was that needles? Oh, there we go. We just... Okay. We learned about cactus needles. Somebody was it for a wheat plant? Well, sorry. All right. So... Now, if only they had a sheep. Every time... Oh, they've got a bunch of... Are these eggs? That's a fried egg. It's got fried eggs everywhere. Cooked fish. Why is it... Are people dying and dropping these things? Oh no, the cook pot is just spitting them out. Okay, sure, that's what works. Um, all right, well, I've got a bunch of rain. I'm just gonna rain over here because all this fire looks dangerous. I'm collecting a bunch of ore, I don't even know if they know how to make anything out of the ore. Anything I can inspect to teach them something? I don't think there is. Oh, research windmill? What? I have to do that on a, f on a wheat farm and I get a windmill? Okay, what, what else can I inspect that I don't know about? Hmm. I'm just gonna keep it raining on this volcano until it's gone. Ooh, critter. Okay, I'm gonna try the forest. Ugh, bear again. Fine. Die bear. Let's kill it right now. I thought that you got sheep by putting a an animal in the forest. But maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I misremembered. Hmm. Okay, somebody wanted a berry bush. Berry bushes arrive in the forest. Sample some berries there. I'll just give them tons of food up here. <sighs> just fulfilling all your wishes. Somebody wants thunder? Great. Put thunder over there where it can't do any damage. Cannot figure out how it's deciding where the jungle goes and where the <laughs> and where the swamp goes. Okay, more plants. Oh, 
Oh, it looks like we ran out of cactus. Let's put another cactus over here. Um, anything else I can inspect? This is an igloo. Wait, why is everyone confused? A sulfur deposit. There must be a mineral somewhere. Is it what? Is it a mineral on a volcano? Somebody wants wind. I don't have wind. Uh, I don't know. I'm just throwing throwing cards around now, hoping something new comes up. Okay, I'm going to take another stab at a sheep. <gasps> yes, a sheep. Okay, so we've got a sheep. Do I need to inspect it? No. Okay, so they've sheared a sheep. Oh, dang it. It looks like I could have researched something with that sheep. Like, the guy was carrying wool. And I missed my shot. I probably could have researched clothing. Which means they wouldn't freeze like this guy. That's an ice block. It's actually a guy who froze to death. <laughs> awesome Twitch dude asks if uh, we're ever going to sell like clothing merch and stuff like that for State of Decay. It's, you know, it's tough to get to a, ga a game to the point where folks want to invest in something like merch because you don't usually make money off of merch um it's usually an investment uh in sort of the popularity of the game and so it's usually hard to convince people to make that because you know we're not like a clothing company you know it, it it takes a lot to sort of uh to take that step and so i don't know it's the kind of thing i mean i don't really make those decisions it's a complicated decision and i don't fully understand it so I can't really explain everything about it, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I would love it if we were selling merch, but, you know, it's somebody else's decision and it's a hard decision, so I, I think I kind of have to leave it at that. Oh, wait, why do, did I just use wind to create all of that? Well, let's, no, I don't want to, I don't want a bunch of tundra lying around here. Ooh. Okay, get brambles from that. Interesting. So I guess, does wind cool things down? Let's throw another tree up here, just because we can. Oh, somebody wanted a sulfur deposit. Is that... Let's find out. Would it be here? No, that was ore. That's right. Let's, let's throw a jungle tree in here for fun. Throw some more sun in here. Let's get rid of this tundra. <laughs> I just killed somebody's house, which is an igloo. Okay, I need to watch for when somebody shears a sheep so that I can... Actually, let's... Throw a, try to throw a sheep up here. All right. And then somebody shears it. And I'm going to inspect the... Oh, inspect the wool. Okay. The spinning wheel. Okay. So they've learned how to make a spinning wheel. Does that mean they're going to start making clothes for themselves? Somebody wants rain? Sure. Here's some rain. Okay. They're making a ton of tropics now. I wonder if that's because of the, the heat? Huh. I don't know. These farms are nice. They're making me happy. This is by far the longest a civilization of mine has ever lasted. Okay, sulfur deposits. I think you get clay from here. You get nothing from lava, obviously. Oh, there's a spinning wheel. You get ore in the mountains. You get sandstone in the sand. What do you get in the desert? Also sandstone. Well, not surprising. <laughs> it just blew everything out into the ocean. What's that? Ooh, banana bread. Nice. 
Oh, got some more tundra showing up here. Let's sun that up. Carrying poop around to go fertilize these fields. Oh, I just sampled. Ooh, that's sulfur. Oh. We just what did we just learn? Gunpowder? What? Okay, so can I just sample lava all day? To make sulfur? Is that I assumed it would be a placing a mineral. Is this the only way they can get sulfur? Is if I just bump it out of the lava like that? Hmm. So are these people making clothes yet? I really honestly can't tell. This person doesn't seem to have any clothes. How would I know if they were making clothes? They've got a spinning wheel and a town center. It's not really in the center. They got a bunch of town centers. What are they for? Do they have... Okay, so they've got wool and they've got cloth. Aha, I had to inspect the cloth, and I didn't know I could do it in their inventory. And so I guess this must be the base? Like, so any random building can be the base? How do I... Is there a... Base info, there it is. Okay, so behind my head here, there's like a bunch of little menus that I can open. So I can get to their base inventory anytime I like. Okay, so somebody is somebody gonna be making making clothes now? Somebody grabbed the cloth for something. Oh yeah, look, they're wearing little outfits! Look at that! They got little, little pink shirts on. Oh, they're so cute. Throw a plant over here. Wow, this is seriously the best I've ever done at this. This is awesome. Okay, so let me see if there's anything else I can inspect in here. Ooh, research currency? Okay, sure. What else? Research writing from feathers? Okay, sure. I can't believe I never realized that I could research stuff from inside the base screen. Oh, yeah, their little boats and everything. They're so cute. Oh, so it looks like these apple trees will grow back. Oh, they grow back. Oh, that's great. If As long as I don't... As long as they're not desperate and they don't pry up the stump, they grow back. So somebody does want sun. Let's throw that in the middle of the ocean. Somebody wants a discovery. I don't know what else I can do with a discovery, though. What was that cat? Oh, they've all got different little shirts on. Oh, that's so cute. So awesome Twitch dude asks, uh, who makes the extra shirts that, that we wear? Because because we don't sell our merch, but we do have like t-shirts oftentimes. Like I think this is actually, yeah, this is an Undead Labs uh, jacket that I'm wearing right now. Uh, they special order them, you know, for, for the team. It's kind of a, a perk of working for a game company is you end up with, uh, oh, they got a market? What's it for? I don't know. Um... It's one of the perks of working for a game company. You end up with, you know, a lot of, like, uh, game gear and stuff like that. But usually they just do, like, special orders just for us. Uh, selling it is a whole other deal that, uh, you know, that we don't really try to do. 
I'm just gonna throw some wind in there for fun. What is that? Coal? Where did you get coal? Uh, I don't know what's up with that coal. Do they get it from ore? Do they get it from... There's just shirts lying around. <laughs> okay, let's look in here again. Wait, look in the base screen. We've hit the maximum IQ, which is nice. Is there anything new in here that I can inspect? It looks like it's the same old stuff. Ooh, research fertilizer from from bone. I thought I could only do that from poop. That's interesting. Oh wait, I can sell cards? What? Oh, and then I get faith out of them? I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, so your very last card is the end. That's how you can just sort of throw away your world and start over. I am starting to run out of things to do here. Again, now I'm suddenly getting a bunch of tropics. Okay, so I'm down to just sampling things. Perhaps make a bunch of sulfur. And now, yeah, I'm just down to inspecting stuff. Learning about things, and I don't even think I... I don't think there's anything left for me to learn here. So this is the most successful little human colony I've had so far. But I think it's reaching the end of its usefulness to me as a sort of um, capricious, fanciful scientist god. Um, my little petri dish is starting to wear out its usefulness, and so I might have to just murder all of these people really soon. It's still pretty cute, though, to just watch this thing sustain itself. Now, they do keep running out of food. Um, I don't know if that's just how it always works. They still got all these poison berries. Oh, but they don't have medication, do they? They got herbs. That's different from medication. I wonder if... Oh, I probably... They could probably eat that if... If I'd done a better job of researching that particular technology, I think I probably failed there. See, so yeah, I wonder how long they would last just with what they have. I mean, they might, you know, sort of have a self sustaining thing where maybe they'll get overpopulated sometimes and eat up, you know, get rid of all their food, and then some of them will die, but then that smaller population will be able to live on the food they've got. So this might actually be self sustaining. But. We're not here to play forever, so I just kill everyone. <laughs> I kind of like the fact, though, that they build in the idea that you're supposed to end it. You know, that you're not here to just try to play forever, because then, like many games, it would get into that sort of like, okay, well, now I've reached the boring part where, you know, I've got everything and it's easy now and I'm just sitting here staring at it and I feel like I have to keep going. Like, I don't think there's any benefit to continuing past the point where you've done everything you can. So, so you can see like, so 79.7% .7 of people have gotten this achievement and you know, 73% have gotten this achievement. And it shows me the ones that I got, build a sky tower. Wow, so 20% of people who have gotten this, but not me. They're, they're pretty brutal <laughs> about the way they express this stuff, which I think is great. Humans surviving in sub-zero temperatures, not me. You shouldn't eat that? What? What is that? Cannibalism? Hmm. Okay, they got a church. Well, a bit of modern homes and cars. So you can apparently take this much further than I've succeeded in taking it so far. <laughs> okay, so we got a volcano. Create a smelting furnace near lava? Okay. Oh, that's... Okay, I think I saw this. They had a smelting furnace, it just wasn't near lava create an oil reservoir i did this i didn't even know i did this conductive electricity ah oh, so get an iq over 200 so i had them capped at like 170 or something like that or no 120 so i don't know how you get it higher humankind beat you and crossed the space-time dimension 
Okay, so, so the goal is for them to get smarter than me. Uh, that's pretty cool. Anyway, so I got through all of that. And now we're back at the main menu, and it's time to start again. But, so apparently there's an endless mode. I haven't tried that out yet. Um, the card shop is one place you go. So you remember that I was overloaded on inspect and sample uh, cards, mostly inspect cards, because I, I basically realized that I hadn't been learning a lot of technologies, and so I overbought inspect cards, and now my deck is kind of too heavy on that side. So I think I need to catch up a little bit by bringing by adding some more trees so the stars you collect these uh over the course like by accomplishing things during the game and so i definitely want a lot more trees and plants and wind wasn't that useful uh i'd love to have more critters though and yeah i've already got these plague makes me nervous I don't know what it does, and I don't know why I would ever play it, but um, I don't know. Maybe it makes them smarter somehow. Uh, worst case scenario, I can sell it if I don't want it. Um, and sure, some more minerals. Wind is not that useful, or maybe it is, and I just haven't figured out what it's useful for. I mean, certainly if things float out to sea, I can bring them back, which is great. I'm not even sure what the meteor is for either. I mean, it provides a bunch of ore, but I can do that by putting minerals in mountains, so I guess it's a lot of ore. I mean, eventually I'm going to fill out all of this, right? Okay, so I think I'm down to the point where I can't buy anything else, so... Cool. So yeah, so so I started with a lot fewer cards. Like none of these cards were bought. It was just a sort of initial sampling of trees, minerals, plants, rain, wind, sun, thunder. I think, and that was about it. I had no critters. I had a little bit of inspect and sample, but that was it. And so most of these things are, I've bought just by playing this again and again. Uh, let's see here. So Sengatsu agrees with me that this feels a lot like Reyes. Now, Reyes is a much more, um, it's a slower paced, deliberate game where you can, ha like, the combinations and, and and sort of the responses to your behavior are a little bit more predictable. You can sort of, it's not necessarily about discovering the combinations as finding occasions to use them well, but it is very similar in the, the idea of, you know, being a god placing scenarios down and then letting the humans do whatever they do with the scenarios you create for them and having a little bit of randomness in there uh to make it so that each playthrough is is, is unpredictable this one's more fast paced uh, so i actually ended up you know playing more rounds of this more quickly and that sort of it gives me th those uh faster iterations help me learn the game faster uh so i like that about this um other things, compendium. So here you can sort of study up on what you've done and learn about things you haven't done yet. Like, for instance, I think I might have failed to teach the medication by inspecting an herb. Or maybe I inspected it, but... Okay, herb is... Good. So I think... Or maybe my problem was they ran out of herbs. Like, I kept destroying my swamps. So they ran out of herbs. Uh, and so even though they had the technology, they couldn't use it. That might be what was going on. But like, okay, vaccine. It will create a vaccine to conquer the plague. When coral is... You can put... What is that? By putting plant in the ocean? That didn't even occur to me. Does it... At least that's my guess. I'm betting that's what it is. Okay, so I learned gunpowder. But when they are violent and intelligent is when they'll learn how to make guns. Interesting. When batteries are... How do you make batteries? When oil is... Where did they... So my guys had oil, but I don't know where they got it. So there's just a lot of mystery. Like, this gives you enough to be curious, but... Oh, oh, and you can also look at objects. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, coral reef. Created with a mineral card. Oh, you put minerals in the water. Okay, seaweed. That's plants in the water. Okay, gotcha. And then, what's alien? What? What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, sulfur deposit is created with a mineral card, but I tried all the places I could think of. 
It's not on Wasteland, is it? I don't know. Where's Boulder? Boulder. Wasteland, grass, or forest. Okay, yeah, so it's not Wasteland. So, so I think after you've collected something, it tells you exactly how you do it. But before you've collected it, it gives you a hint, but not enough. Okay, so I've seen most of the objects, and I've created sulfur. I'm just not sure how to create a deposit of it. Um, I think I know how to do a reef. I know how to do seaweed. I think that's all the objects that I'm missing. Uh, except aliens. I don't, don't know what to do with an alien. Buildings. So I'm missing a lot of these because I just haven't gotten the right combinations of technologies yet. Oh, a church grants you unlimited faith. But their obsession with you also stagnates their quest for knowledge. Is that why the IQ was capped? Once they build a church, they cap their IQ? Okay, that's hilarious. So does that mean if I want them to get smarter, I have to carefully not give them too much faith? This game is extremely clever. Okay, and there's just so much more to discover. I mean, using molten lava. Okay, wow. And then resources. A bunch that I'm missing here. And then food. Okay, so I have seaweed and sushi. Interesting. Okay, anyway. So... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here to discover. That I've only just started cracking the surface of this game, but it's really interesting, right? Um, oh, and I can look at my achievements too, but anyway. The point is, this game is really cool. Um, I'm excited about it, so I'm probably going to keep poking at it for a little while because it's so adorable. But in the meantime, uh, we should wrap this video up and get out of here. And uh, yeah, go look at something else.